Hey everyone and welcome to Seek Show School. Today I'm going to be talking about the applications of GIS and remote sensing in agriculture. Let's jump into the speech but before that make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification so you will not miss anything. GIS stands for Geographic Information System and remote sensing is the process of collecting data about an object or area without being in direct contact with it. These two technologies can be used together to improve agricultural productivity, efficiency, and sustainability. What is GIS? There are many definitions for that. GIS is a computer-based system for collecting, storing, managing, analyzing, and displaying spatial data. Spatial data is data that has a location on the Earth's surface. GIS can be used to store a variety of spatial data, including land parcel boundaries, soil types, crop yields, irrigation systems, weather data. GIS can be used to perform a variety of spatial analysis tasks, such as calculating the area of a land parcel, identifying areas with poor soil quality, mapping crop yields, analyzing the impact of climate change on agriculture. Then what is remote sensing? Remote sensing is the process of collecting data about an object or area without being in direct contact with it. Remote sensing data can be collected from a variety of platforms, including satellites, airplanes, drones, remote. Sensing data can be used to collect a variety of information, including crop type, crop health soil, moisture plant, stress irrigation needs. How can GIS and remote sensing be used in agriculture? GIS and remote sensing can be used together to improve agricultural productivity, efficiency, and sustainability. Here are some examples of how GIS and remote sensing can be used in agriculture. Crop planning. GIS can be used to map soil types, crop yields, and other factors to help farmers plan their crops. Crop monitoring. Remote sensing can be used to monitor crop health and growth. This information can be used to identify problems early on and take corrective action. Irrigation management. GIS and remote sensing can be used to map irrigation systems and monitor water use. This information can be used to improve irrigation efficiency and save water. Pest management. Remote sensing can be used to monitor pest infestations. This information can be used to target pest control efforts and reduce the use of pesticides. Benefits of GIS and remote sensing in agriculture. There are many benefits to using GIS and remote sensing in agriculture. Some of the benefits include increased productivity. GIS and remote sensing can help farmers to increase their crop yields by improving crop planning, monitoring crop health, and managing irrigation. Improved efficiency. GIS and remote sensing can help farmers to improve their efficiency by reducing the use of pesticides and water. Increased sustainability. GIS and remote sensing can help farmers to increase the sustainability of their operations by reducing the environmental impact of agriculture. Conclusion GIS and remote sensing are powerful technologies that can be used to improve agricultural productivity, efficiency, and sustainability. By using these technologies, farmers can make better decisions about their crops, improve their yields, and reduce their environmental impact. I hope you learned something new from this video. Leave a comment below. Share this video with your GIs enthusiast. I'll be back with a new video soon. Till then, good luck with your efforts. Thank you for watching.